Hi, I'm Sarah Crowley. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about my race at Ironman 70.3 Santa Cruz. <laughs> So this is actually my third time racing Ironman 70.3 Santa Cruz and my third victory as well. So I thought I'd share a few of the little things we do around the race and leading into the race to uh, yeah, explain sort of how we went about it and what it looks like from my perspective. Um, <clears throat> this race always falls quite close to the Hawaiian Ironman. So for me, it's a really great preparation event. The course and the terrain, uh, I think, and the conditions are really suit um, a, a preparation race for, for Ironman Hawaii. So um, yeah, but that said, it's also because it's very close, we actually need to train right up to the race and almost through it. So uh, we dropped into this race from Salt Lake City, Park City, my training base, really quite late. We actually flew in on the Friday before the, the race. Um, and then we even trained quite a bit. Um, when we drove down from San Francisco, we actually drove down and trained quite a bit. So we actually did a swim when we arrived and a little brick in the afternoon. So I'm slow to be back in Santa Cruz. Actually, the last two times this was a pro race, I actually won, so it means a lot to me. It's a beautiful place. Um, we're dropping in really kind of late, so it's Friday, um, but everything thankfully went smoothly this morning. No issues with the bike, nothing like that. Um, we've already gone to the pool and had a swim, I've registered, now I'm just going to do a little brick to wake me up, had a rest day yesterday so we could prepare for the travel. Um, so now we find for me something to rev me up is good so we're doing a brick, hit the treadmill in a minute, dinner, pretty easy day tomorrow, some light roll throughs and uh, the pro briefing. Um, yeah and then lock it in, stick the bike in and race Sunday back Monday to Salt Lake City so yeah short turnaround so we can maximize everything for Kona which is only yeah three or four weeks away now which is <laughs> getting pretty close. I sometimes think that people don't understand how hard it is to actually find places to train when you're always on the road. <sighs> it's like living out of a hotel room or a bag most of the year. Power on the bike then was really good so lots of oxygen at sea level as it happens, so <laughs> I think it will go all right. Yep. Cool thing about hotel pools is they, uh, gyms and stuff, is they always have the best stuff. So we've been in Santa Cruz for about five hours now. How do you feel about the altitude? Oh, the lack of altitude. It's like zero over at sea level. It's so good I can breathe. <laughs> immediately noticeable on efforts. So even though I'm a bit stale and just sort of waking up, um, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's like immediately noticeable because being able to just like achieve more power and hopefully speed, we're about to try. So four minutes per K. So we just did a stack of three minute efforts. We usually we rest completely off of them, but today for some reason, my coach wanted me to run jog in between. So I was like pressing up and down on the treadmill. But then these treadmills, they're like shut down after 30 minutes. So I get really frustrated and I like punch this one. The emergency stop and then I have to jump onto that one. It's like super frustrating, but we got it done and I feel really good. So yeah, usually a bit of regression is a good sign. Maybe, <laughs> means I care. <laughs> It's a bit more humid here than the mountains. Definitely been a, a dry, dry climate for a while. Whew. Not dinner and an easy day tomorrow. The next day was far more chilled though. We had uh, our race briefing um, on the uh, Saturday and so we did a little spin out before that and then uh, a cruisy lunch. Uh, another spin, uh, another swim, and then um, we always finish with a little just shake out run uh, before dinner. So what are we doing? Oh, I'm on the thing. 
gonna go for a pre-race ride like a little bit just over the course but in the boring sections not in the beach section because there's heaps of people on the beach section today but to spin the legs out a little bit and test the bike on the actual road it's always fun to get the chance to ride on the piece <laughs> You don't train on one? Not daily, no. Not in the mountains? <laughs> right Did she say Cam? You got a call out. You got a shout out, Cam. Who the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for this ram. Maybe they said ram. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't crush it. Okay. Don't crush it. Sorry. <laughs> Car Sarah. How's that? Hot mix. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Ooh, that one. So what did you just do? Uh, so just an hour, but I did some little like turnovers for the bike. A little bit of sort of gears a little bit. But yeah, the, the road's looking amazing. Um, unfortunately, it's a little overcast today, but usually this is like so stunning. So hopefully tomorrow it burns off a bit. It's not cold or anything. It's just like overcast, but uh, it's a beautiful course. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Especially this cliff section, it's really good. <sighs> Twilight in Scottsvale Valley, Scotts Valley. <laughs> Just finished my last little, uh, little spin in the shoes before uh, tomorrow. Things are feeling pretty good, so yeah. Lock and loaded, put all the stuff in the bag. Early start tomorrow. Get my get my coach on the way in, Cameron. And then um, yeah, ready to rumble. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden, just like that, it's race day. So um, yeah, it kind of came around quite quickly because we'd been sort of training right through it. And, and through this time, you have to understand as well that we're kind of moving locations as well. So we're sort of staying up in Park City, and we're half packed to leave because then we're, when we get back, we're going to go down to a little bit lower altitude. So it was all a, like a really rushed kind of thing, but in the end, I think because we're so well drilled at sort of getting to races and everything, it all went quite smooth. <clears throat> this race was a little bit different for me from one little technical thing, it was strange that we're actually allowed to rack our bikes on race morning. So I guess that gave us a little bit more time to prepare and race morning, um, which I actually needed because I actually flattened my front tire. I don't know how I did it. I just like punctured through my uh, latex tube and I was pumping up in the car park. Um, but then, yeah, I think everything after that went quite smoothly. Obviously, we just sort of racked everything and went over to the swim start. It's an ocean swim and it's quite cold in Santa Cruz at this time of year. I think 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 18 degrees. So it's definitely a wetsuit swim. Um, and yeah, that's real quick turnaround. The gun was off at like 6.50, I think. And um, yeah, I, I sort of didn't have the best swim start. That, oh, well, not the swim start that I can do. Um, I sort of faffed it a bit and lost feet quick, quite quickly. And um, Pamela was just away. Um, I could sort of see her swimming off and I just couldn't get started. And I often find it difficult in those colder swims to kind of get started like that. Um, but we eventually settled in with like a smaller group. Um, and then I pretty much stayed with that group we stayed together for the whole swim. I think in the end I was probably about fourth out of the water. Um, and also the one interesting thing about Santa Cruz is that you actually have to run like quite a long way from uh, this, the beach exit to the transition area. Um, and lots of actually age group athletes and amateurs were actually putting shoes and socks and things just near the beach to actually make the run distance with something on their feet. Um, I put a little bit of tape on my feet just because it helps because uh, the actual surface is almost like sandpaper. It has like rocks. Uh, that stick up, so it was kind of really un uneven. Well, it's, it's flat, but it's like un it's like quite gritty. Um, so once I left transition, I made a really committed effort to catch the girls up the front. I knew the distance, um, had some splits called out to me, um, 
The thing about the Santa Cruz course is that it's quite, it's a bit wiggly and windy at the start and then it's quite a rolling hills course. So a lot of the time you can't actually see where people are in front of you out on the course. And it was quite different as well because we had a lot of fog um, first thing in the morning and the back end of the course, you almost couldn't see uh, any coloured suits or anything. You just saw a rider, it might have been a dark colour and that's it. So it was kind of, at times, it's like you have to be a little bit relentless and in the in your pursuit of catching people up the front because you don't know if it's someone in your race or not. So, um, but by the turnaround, I saw, I timed Pamela. I could see her t taking her U-turn as I was entering the cones for the turn. So I knew it was only 20 or 30 seconds. So uh, on the return trip, we actually had a bit more of a tailwind. Um, and so I caught her quite quickly, um, but equally I saw Marinda wasn't that far behind. I didn't think anyway from, uh, and you know, from my perspective. Um, and then obviously with Rini chasing, you've always got to be cautious. So um, I gave it a real hard effort on the back end of the bike um, to try and just make sure of the, the gap. Um, but in the end, Pamela came in quite close to me into T2. So then into T2, I actually took my time in T2 because I wanted to make sure that I had my socks on properly um, and that I sort of drank a little bit more fluid um, because sometimes the Santa Cruz course can clear up the sky and it can be really hot. So um, I just took a tiny bit of extra time there and um, in the end, Pamela and I ran out together at the same time. But yeah, I just felt great on the run. Um, I've, I think I've had some okay runs on this course before. It is quite challenging with some off-road sections, which are really stunning, uh, where you run past some bluffs and things in the national park. Um, and you're obviously running through cliffs and everything on the way out, but it's it's very hilly and then, yeah, off-road terrain and, and everything else. So um, I just committed to pacing out something that felt comfortable. And um, I think coming from altitude made it feel like quite amazing actually. But the whole time you're like, oh, how close is Rini? Um, and obviously she's in pursuit of a puppy. so. Uh, her commitment is, is extreme. So um, yeah, I don't think you can ever sort of, you know, rest on your laurels and, and things. And I also wanted to push to see where we're actually at um, for most of the course and see how I actually felt by the end of it. So yeah, in the end, it, you know, I obviously won, but it's never easy. It's never uh, given to you at all. You have to always earn and work for every little inch on a course. This is out of Australia. Back again for more. Your 2022 BOA Ironman 70.3 Santa Cruz champion, Sarah Crowley! Yeah, Sarah Crowley, well done! Anything can happen as well, so I was really happy in the end with the, the result. Um, and I guess it's indicate, indicative of the, that we're heading in the right direction and, you know, things are starting to build, um, which is pretty good because last couple of years have been pretty shit. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to now. There's a couple more weeks here. We pretty much headed back after the race almost straight away. We took a recovery day and flew back on Monday. Um, and then now we're back straight into sort of the last little block of Ironman training before Kona, which is only like a couple of weeks before we head to the islands. So, yeah, really successful race, um, good competition, good event, um, great place to go, super fun. And um, yeah, looking forward to the next block training. One thing super cool about the race on the weekend was the number of competitors and the fans on the course. It's really awesome to see people coming out and supporting triathlon again and the sport lifting and building back up again from the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about my race, um, my race preparation or what we're going to be doing leading into Kona and Hawaii, put them in the comments. Like and share this video and uh, follow me on socials and I look forward to seeing you guys out on a, in a triathlon soon. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm, I'm like literally just super, uh, I'm a, what do you, what, I'm an A-type personality that is very process driven. And so it comes out like that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself at Santa Cruz? Um, of course I enjoyed myself. I won. <laughs>